by the sign of the Holy Cross, from our enemies deliver us, Lord our God, in the name of the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Hello, I'm Father John Mary Foster of the Mission of Divine Mercy, and we have another message today entitled, The Citadel of My Heart. It was uh, dictated to Sister Amapola in Spanish, so this is her translation. And it was dictated on the Feast of the Assumption, uh, the, uh, August 15, 2024. And we're, we're recording this on the Feast of the Queenship of Our Blessed Mother. And um, as usual, there's footnotes found in the text version that they're not dictated by the Lord. Those are added by Sister Amapola. And also, there's several times in which Sister senses in a special way, like a, a smile from the, uh, the, the person who's, who's uh, speaking to her, in this case, our Blessed Mother. So uh, I'll, I'll say smile when that is the case in this, um, in this message. So here's the message. My children, your mother speaks to you from heaven, the heaven to which she calls you, towards which she guides you, of which she reminds you, so that you might not lose your way, nor your heart be saddened by feeling alone. I call you to my heart, to the refuge created by the Father for you for these times. Little children of my heart, smile. With how much love do I gaze upon you, and I thank you for each sign of your affection, of your love for me, how much you console me. I gather your offerings of love and atonement and of reparation to the wounded heart of the Father, and I unite them to my offering and the offering of my Jesus. Thank you, children, for these offerings of reparation in the face of such hatred to the one who is love. Especially on this day, I thank you, beloved sons of mine, priest of my son. I know your efforts. I see your humiliations and sufferings. I see my Jesus on his throne in your heart, and I rejoice in your fidelity and love. And I see how much exhaustion and discouragement you carry, such a heavy weight at seeing the devastation of all that the Father has created. My little sons, come and recover your strength in my love. Come and bring me all the suffering of my children. Come and unite your heart to mine. And like little children, come and rest on my heart. I bless you, my sons. Be encouraged. You do not work alone. You do not work in vain. Each prayer, each work will have its fruits. Remain by my side. Do not separate yourself from me, and I will always guide you to the will of the Father, especially when the fog of darkness and of sin becomes thicker and more horrific. Allow me to guide you, and by my hand you will be able to guide my children. Feed them, heal them. In persona Christi, sons, at all times, in every circumstance, you have me as my son had me at his side at all times. In persona Christi. How many of your brothers have forgotten these brief but essential words in your priestly life? Without them, sons, there is no priesthood. Everything in Jesus, everything through Jesus, everything with Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. His person, his heart, his body and his blood, his face, his offering, his wounds, his name, his absolute obedience to the will of the Father. These are your weapons to reconquer the hearts of my children, whom we have entrusted to you. Remain in him, sons. You know the time, sons. You know what we have announced. You know the consequences in the face of so many offenses to the Father. You know the power of our enemy and of his army, spread throughout the whole world and present in all areas of your life. You know the terrible confusion that there is and that surrounds everything, and in particular, 
my church. My sons, be alert that you might keep my children alert. We have said to you that the chair of Peter and of the apostles has been usurped. The church is under siege, sons. Surrounded by the forces of Satan, as a city whose walls have been torn down, there is no safe refuge except in the citadel. My heart is the citadel, the tower, the bastion, where there is safe refuge, peace, light, consolation, where the truth shines without any d diminishment, where the soldiers of my sons are formed and strengthened, ready to go out and fight when the hour arrives, when the trumpet sounds. Enter and bring with you in your hearts all of my children. Come, sons, enter into the refuge prepared for you. And just as after the death of my son, the apostles and disciples were dispersed, so now my children are dispersed, full of fear and confusion. And just as in that hour, the hour of my offering in pain and in the crushing weight, and here our Blessed Mother says W-A-I-T, like waiting for, and in the crushing weight, I called and gathered around me the scattered sheep of my son and those who were called to be their shepherds. So in this tremendous hour, I gather my children and my priest sons in my heart around me, and I give you light, hope, and the certainty of the coming of my Jesus and of his victory, the direct intervention of the Father to renew and reconquer his creation. And just as I once again gathered the apostles around me in prayer to implore and prepare the coming of the Most Holy Spirit of God, the Spirit of truth and of light, so now I once again gather you, my beloved sons, my priests, that you might implore with me the new coming, the new Pentecost that will restore all that is to its original state. Remain with me in peace and hope. I need you with me, sons, that together we might gather those who have been scattered by the confusion and fear and bring them to the fold of my Jesus. I will give you light in your particular situations. I come to you as the sunrise, smile, after a long stormy night. Each one of you is necessary to me. Each one of you has my particular love, my face, my name, my love, are your protection before any attack on your priesthood, on the flock entrusted to your care. Your mother accompanies and blesses you. Your queen thanks you and calls you. Breathe my love that you might have the clarity of God in your heart. I bless you, sons of my heart, and I bless our little ones whom you shepherd. My children, all of you, Pray for my priest. Pray for your brothers called to such a sacrifice and such a responsibility. Smile. Thank you, children. So in this next paragraph, Sister, uh, well, the, excuse me, the, the message speaks about a, the pallium. And the pallium is a liturgical vestment that is worn exclusively by archbishops, metropolitans, as a sign of their authority over an ecclesiastical province or which is several dioceses. So Our Lady is speaking here directly to archbishops. Sons of mine who carry the apostolic pallium, it is, it is the hour, sons, to stand up, as St. Michael, my beloved archangel, did, who is like God. Stand up by my side, st under my mantle, that the children of God may see you and recognize my Son in you. It is time, sons, do not be afraid, I am by your side, and all your brothers who faithfully carried and defended and died for the truth, arise and accompany you in spirit in this terrible hour in which every aspect of the truth is scorned, distorted, attacked. You are not alone. Who do you belong to? Receive the light that I give to you, that seeing how I see, you can understand my heart and you can stand up. I know, sons, 
what I am asking of you. But I ask it of you in the name of my Jesus. I ask it of you out of love for the Father. I ask it of you in the fullness of the light of the Most Holy Spirit, who descended upon you to anoint you and make of you holy altars for the perfect offering of my Jesus. In persona Christi, my sons, I understand your questionings, doubts, insecurities before the confusion. And this is why I come to you. This is why I call to you and speak to you, my little ones. And this is why your mother has compassion on you and helps you to see, to raise your eyes with me and to see how heaven sees and see what is coming, both the horror and the hope, and thus be able to gather our children in my heart in the holy and safe citadel. Sons, look at me and do not fear. Gentle smile. I look at all of you, my little great army, and you fill me with joy. Your response to my call, your obedience to the will of the Father, your love and your charity for your brothers and sisters shrouded in darkness. Give me your smiles, my little children, for how much is contained in these smiles offered in the midst of the great battle. I receive it all. Be at peace, my little flock. I will guide you in each step. Remember that the light of God is infinitely greater than the deepest darkness. Engrave this truth in yourselves and do not forget it. All other light fades, but the light of God remains alive, strong, eternal, beautiful. Beautiful children, you cannot imagine. Smile. I bring you flashes, little rays of this infinite light that you might survive. But the fullness of this light that will one day envelop you completely, will recompense you for everything, will heal you of all wounds. Remember that this light awaits you. Smile. I bless you, my little ones, each one of you. I leave you my love and my light, my Jesus. Say with me, Blessed and praised at every instant and in every place be the holy name of Jesus, his most sacred heart, his most precious blood, and his cross be our refuge and salvation. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Be at peace. Remain in my heart. Your mother who loves you so much, Mary most holy, queen of heaven and earth, and the refuge of all the children of God. And may Almighty God bless you by the intercession of the Immaculate and Sorrowful Heart of our Blessed Mother, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.